how can I use these wine openers to put into somebody's eyes? Man, you are amped up about this. This movie is so good. He's legitimately fighting and wrestling more than eight people here. Hey, time out, pause. I need a chicken sandwich and an iced tea in about 30 minutes. Hold on, I got a tender. What? This would work though, Richard. No. Like, because an iron cord and an iron is nothing but iron. Are we rolling? Did you do the sound thing? You did it. Welcome to another episode of Veterans React. I'm joined by Mr. Jared Taylor today. All of it. And of course, the one that only Matthew Best. Oh, I like you said Matthew. Let's start going by Matthew Best. Chew. It's official. One T. Carbon stained pillows, hands smell like lead. Under my mattress, gun safe as my bed. Did you love me, love me. The New York Times what? best-selling author, Matthew <laughs> Best. <laughs> Come on, give the full title. <laughs> Every time you're on, we're just going to plug your book. Yeah. No. I mean, okay. <laughs> Link in the description below. Right there. Available on iTunes and everywhere books are sold. So we get to watch movies today? We do. And uh, <laughs> it's, Jared, I, it's Jared's dream. He's like, whoa, 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 I have to show up to go on set and just watch movies. Coming into this, you got to pick an. I, got to pick I can't movies. even talk. I got to pick the movies. You got to you pick, let me pick the movies. Yes. Number one, Equalizer, definitely one of my favorite movies. Why? Because I just, I love movies. Movies when like the one the the is it an antagonist the the hero the protagonist is like, I wasn't sure if it was Pierre. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I like it when they were just like way more badass than everybody else, and this is like this like embodies that. Denzel Washington is an ex CIA ground branch operative, and he's like got some like weird mental thing where he can time himself and he assesses the whole room and he knows how to kill everybody in like a a really like ballerina style fashion if ballerinas killed people. <laughs> Number two, we are, are big fans and good friends with Mr. Tate Fletcher. Ah, and, yes. And he has a gruesome death scene in this, so we will uh, we'll be talking about that. I feel like Tate gets killed in everything. He does. <laughs> Denzel was going up into the Russian mob room in Boston, I believe they're in Boston. You know, he does these weird things where he puts the skulls at the, at the leader guy. You're okay, yeah, bye bye. Sudania, Papa. You're the Americans. And they say something and it like pisses him off. And now he's gonna do the watch thing and he's about to figure out how to kill everybody in like <laughs> 18 seconds. Denzel's such a good actor, man. I'm a fan. He doesn't watch his own movies. I, so I get it. Yeah. I get it. I hate watching I myself. I will never watch one of these. That's kind of like Denzel Washington. <laughs> so right now, yes, he's doing his full assessment. Like, how can I use these uh, wine openers to put into somebody's eyes? <laughs> Man, you are <laughs> amped up about this. This movie is so good. It's I like, it. oh, boom. Oh, now the clock okay, starts. so I guessed 18 seconds. I haven't seen this movie in about, you know, two weeks. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he shoot He's the boss in the, the throat. throat. Uh, wow. See, this is where this is where the uh, the wine openers come in. I don't think that guy knows he has them in his hands because you know that you could kind of conceal them. Oh yeah, he knows. Mmm. It takes a lot of pressure to put a wine <laughs> opener into somebody. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, ah. he went he went under the. That's always. There's a couple movies. That oh yeah, have, you can see it. That's great. That have those scenes. And that's it. He killed a whole room full of people. And then he has, you know, he has the, the final conversation, which is always, this is always the best part. The, hey, guess what? I won, you right. didn't, you now die. Right. Bless his heart. Mm. Poor Russian mafia. You're a lot more violent than I thought. What? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? I thought you were going to tee up some clips and you're going to be like, oh, no, this is hilarious. They got this all wrong. No, like, hey, watch this dude die. I just want to watch a death sequence. <laughs> <laughs> all right. A Tate Fletcher right. scene? Yes, right now. This is Mr. Tate Fletcher. He's, he's, he's ready. He's going for the kill. He thinks he's, he thinks he's got Denzel. But he's doing a good job at just putting a suppressive fire down. Yeah. A lot of people don't know Tate trained 12 
weeks for this movie. Really? Um, and additionally, his mustache trained for 16 weeks. <laughs> nice. That's some solid I feel mustache like every training. episode's gonna have a little known fact thing <laughs> to yeah, it. There it is. <laughs> Tate's a lot bigger than him, a lot stronger, can probably fight a little bit better. So Denzel went for like the kneecaps and like some tendons and stuff like that. Went right into his spleen, just a quick one. That's you know that disables you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta be like psychologically after 70 people have been killed, you're like, you know maybe what? Maybe we should reevaluate our strategy going forward I'm into gonna, this. I'm gonna go hydrate for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Go drink some water. <laughs> so this is this is the final boss. This is one of those things too where I kind of get a little upset about because uh, my theory is like I hate video games because they make you like work for things. If I'm gonna purchase an $85 video game, I want the biggest gun, I want unlimited ammo, and I want God mode. Yeah. You have to give him a little bit of a challenge because the reward's better. If he just yeah. like if he was like whoosh, on everybody and that was it. They're like yeah, they just get me straight to the reward. Yeah. I don't no foreplay. I want to see no winning. foreplay. I want to see winning. Nothing makes like the end sequence better than having rain falling like inside. So good. Slow mo fire suppression it, systems. Is that a nail gun? I think it's a nail gun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no, it's a. Uh, no, it is. It's, it's a, one of those yeah. cement yeah. like punchers. Tap and, yeah, yeah, tap yeah. It's a tapper. <laughs> one of them. I wonder how far they really go without a threaded barrel. But hey, we'll, we'll, we'll buy into it. No one try that at home. Please don't. I mean, obviously it's going far because look at him. His joints are all fucked up. He doesn't go for the eye first. He's like, I'm going to take out the Achilles, the kneecaps, yep. the arms, and then do this like He, he wants you to have your senses yeah. when, he, when he delivers the final monologue. You know nice. what I mean? Especially that face at the end just staring you down like this is it. All right, and out. then he takes him out. So he wins the boss mode, uh, obviously. Great usage of water and 60 frames per second and very good lighting. John Wick. Oh. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you. I will give Keanu Reeves credit because he actually went out and did training as a three gun thing and really practiced like manipulation of firearms and stuff, which you definitely see carry through in this. Yeah, movie. there's no way that you could do a movie like this without learning these skills and becoming good at them. And the biggest takeaway in this movie is don't fuck with someone's dog. Oh yeah, that's, it's coming <laughs> that's up. It. It's definitely like the picture perfect scenario where the spoiled son of a, of a badass yeah. fucks well, up because the he thinks- Well, it's Theon Greyjoy. <laughs> but that's what I like in the film. They know like the coming doom for all of them and they're like, you did what to John Wick? Yeah, and he's like, like oh, God. oh man, ah, oh, oh no. <laughs> And did they have to make it such a cute puppy? What we got here? All oh, right, he's back in the house now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now this right here just makes me tired. Because he's walking? No, just fighting one person is tiring enough. And here he's like fighting 20 people. You don't think about that a lot, the cardiovascular fitness and health that you have to be in to perform at this level. Like I'm like three dudes in and then I'm like, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> He's legitimately fighting and wrestling more than eight people here. Like, this is a lot of energy. Time out, pause. I need a chicken sandwich. And an iced tea. In about 30 minutes. <laughs> this is another awesome part of John Wick. You know, the security, you know, comes in and they're like, hey, you know, we know. But he would be super out of breath right now. Look, he is super composed. Just he's got, he's got that. standing heart rate of about 68. Just done. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that 68's a good benchmark for you. <laughs> you uh, working again? No, I just sorting some stuff out. I'll leave you be then. Good night, John. Good night, Jimmy. I don't know, what's a better number, lower or higher? I don't know. Hold on, I got a Tinder. What? Final John Wick scene. This is the sniper, the sniper scene, well, where he sets it all up. And Why do you like, like it? The color in this, so like, this is nerd video talk, but I love the color here. But, you know, again, like, I don't understand these sniper positions at all. Like, you've got a guy with a 338 Lapua that's just, like, hanging out with it, like, 
up here? Like, why aren't you laying down? Because the bad guys need to be bad yeah. at, at their job, or they wouldn't be yeah, that yeah. easy to kill. Well, as you can see, you know, old John Boy doesn't need stabilization at all to fire a long range shot. Uh, probably because he has a heart rate of, you know, 68. <laughs> get down, get down! Timed it to the sound. And then, like, at that point, too, like, you're old Killjoy over That's here. That's awesome. And you're being engaged long range, very accurately. <laughs> Maybe this is the point where he really was like, okay, I fucked up. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then he's got explosives, he lit this guy on fire. Like, John Wick is checking every box that he could check. I'm gonna have to say, I mean, and it might be an unpopular opinion, I think John Wick is better than Rambo. Uh, I don't know. I don't I'm know. Talking, I'm talking 80s Rambo versus John Wick right now. Who who wins that battle? I think Rambo. He's far more resourceful. He can kill you with like a tree leaf. That is true. We have not seen uh, much of John Wick's field craft. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a bouncer. Uh, I don't know. With a fucking bouncer. Game over, man. Netflix movie has our friend Steve Howie in it. Are you just picking the movies with your friends in them? <laughs> yeah. These are the guys from the Workaholics. They yeah. play bell bell hops. <laughs> Zip tie, zip line, baby, don't you genius? Uh, it was my idea. <laughs> you know, I saw the scaffolding, I said Home Alone style zip line, but yeah, okay, it's fine. It's good work. Thanks. They were hiding in a room, and that's when Steve Howey's character, who's a who's a, another thug, comes into the room and is hanging out with his boyfriend. And these guys accidentally kill the boyfriend, but then they think they've killed Steve Howey, and he's in the bed right now. So they're planning their escape to get out of the hotel. Oh, so, they're gonna try to climb across on an iron? Yeah. They yeah, look, nice. Wow, oh, okay, go movie. See, it looks like some sort of line, and then they have fashioned an ironing board. Oh, it There's was zip ties. Zip ties. They you picked this scene because that's something that you would want to attempt. This would work though, Richard. No. Like, you use the iron as an anchor because an iron cord and an iron is nothing but iron. So, so you have a lot of it's weight. Not, it's not it's how like, it works. It's not 4,000 pounds of pressure. Little known fact. Steve Howie's waking up. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. They hit him in the head with an iron, I think. <laughs> and then he just saw, he saw his boyfriend is not breathing. So now these guys are in big trouble because Look how in shape he is. Wow, this. this is very movie. You're on an ironing board, 28 stories up, Steve Howie's hanging from a window. That's a bad situation that he's in right now, though. Challenge. He just had a mattress land on his hands, um, and then he falls. <laughs> All right, since you guys are here, I wanted to queue up a trailer here. I think you guys will be interested in I love, watching. I love watching trailers. Okay. Let's see what love, your thoughts are on it. I love making trailers. I love living in trailers. <laughs> you fucking what? loser. <laughs> what? No, Maybe it's what? range 15. I, I, I don't know if you know this production. Oh, God. Dale no. Dye, though. Hey, oh, look, yeah, look at that green screen work, Check out Look this, at this B-roll. That's or, not like, even post-apocalyptic. Yeah, <laughs> bot B-roll of... Uh, oh, B-roll. Man. That guy's not an actor. Oh. Solid <laughs> acting. Well, okay, so what's going on here? There's a helicopter, dead people... Dead zombies-ish. You have to get to range 15. It is believed that one of them is responsible for saving mankind. So There's just good. a group of people that keep walking in a group. And then William Shatner. It's like, here's a celebrity. <laughs> B-roll. I'm not gonna leave the fate of the world to you fuck offs. Another celebrity. <laughs> B-roll. Group walking. of people. <laughs> I didn't think about it, just us walking. In the, it yeah. literally is. I haven't watched this in probably three years. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Yeah! That was ad lib. I just, I just threw that out there. I'm that was also flying a helicopter that they refused to let me fly. No, We're all going to die because of your fat ass. You fat, fat, fatty. Fuck, I can't even fucking believe how fat you are. Yeah. This movie was so bad, it was kind of good. And then there's just like celebrity, 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 celebrity. 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 Look at us. Celebrity. We know famous people. Goldie. More of us walking. Love it. So and good. And there's, oh, man. Oh, hi, Marcus. That oh. green screen, so good. So, <laughs> such good green screen. That was green screen? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, Shut it was. The fuck up. Yes, it was. Huh. A fun fact.
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tee up some more comments from one of the last videos. So if you guys have any suggestions about any movies that you want us to comment on, it doesn't even have to be movies. I think moving forward, we, we jump into some other stuff. It could right? be anything Or TV anything. series, or even like a YouTube thing. Yeah. Like, why not? Drop a comment below of what you might want us to watch and react to. Um, make sure you have notifications on because whenever we do these generators here, sometimes we do it the same day and as an And pick upload. who you want to watch what. You should say that. You should be like, mm. I want this Or on person. the show as a whole. That's a good yeah. point, because yeah. we got a lot of friends at the yeah. company. And it's like, not always going to be us. It's going to be YouTube comments. Did you not pay for the service? Because no. you got ads on there. <laughs> I didn't know you could pay for it. <laughs> Reach out to us on Instagram, because YouTube doesn't have private messages anymore. And uh, let us know what you want. We'll give you a bag of coffee, a t-shirt, a hat, whatever. Man, they get to win stuff? Yeah, Can they get to win stuff. stuff? No. You got, you've got like a gear room full of like t-shirts that you should just be giving away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bam! And we reach star.